Hey, what's up guys? It's good to be back. So today we're going to be learning how to apply or use an HDRI images to light up our scene. So this is the scene that we uh, use it for the last tutorial for V-Ray materials. So if you keen to know more about how I set this up, so you can refer back to uh, the tutorial that I created uh, previously. So now let's look at the scene. So if you take a look at here that uh, we're using four different sizes of V-Ray light to light up our scene. And even so that you can see like some of the, the areas is not having a light at all. Okay. And then if we wanted to do light up entirely, so we might need to put more stuff in it. Okay, but using HDRI is different. Okay, because it's an image that captures from the real environment. And then we are using that real environment plus the lighting at that time to light up our scene. So to get a HDRI map, we can go to Google. Okay, you can type HDRI and search. So there are tons of uh, websites that have HDRI maps. Some of them are free and some of them are um, paid. So we go to this HDRI heaven. So right here, they have a lot of free stuff that you can use. So personally, I download a few and I think it's quite nice that I have it here. Okay. So to use HDRI, we're going to delete all the stuff. Okay, get rid of it. And recreate a new V-Ray light. Okay, so let's get this right here. And we need to go to Modify tab and switch from Plane Setup to Dome Setup. Okay. And under here that you can see we have a map slot that we can imp import a texture into. So let's click on it. Now let's scroll down to V-Ray and choose V-Ray HDRI. And it will pop up another menu, okay? And it asks you to browse your textures. So we'll need to go into HDRI. And we can try to look into sunset lighting. Okay. All right, but the problem is right now, right, right after you put an image in, so there's no way for you to edit right here. So firstly, uh, we're going to be checking the resolution. So since I'm downloading it from this website and I'm using it 4K, 4K resolution. So I'm going to switch this to probably 4096. Okay. And please open up this. So I'm going to clean this up. Utilities, reset material, editor slots, and drag and drop to, the, to here. Okay. And we should be choosing instance because whatever we change right here, it will be affected to, to here. And as usual, double click and have a look. So the best thing about HDRI is um, you can play with the exposure all right by default it's one so you can reduce and you can make it darker you can make it brighter okay and then yet it still looks natural okay and if you don't like the scene right here you can click and adjust the horizontal rotation that it will rotate a different scene for you i think it's best to put it back to one Okay, and you're going to make sure that you are choosing spherical instead of others. So if you're using angular, then the whole thing might be different. Okay, you see it gets distorted. Cubic is not going to work. And mirror ball is not going to work. 3D aspect standard, it's not going to work at all. Okay, so spherical is the best. Okay, so I'm be using this probably. And a bit of scenery turn off and also don't forget to adjust the multiplier probably down to one or two and yeah, let's get back to our camera by pressing c 
and we can hit the render button. Okay, so for, for now that we, what we can see right here, it seems to be a little bit too bright. Okay. So we might need to adjust a bit. So click escape button. Okay, so it will stop that rendering. Then we can go back to here. Oh, probably not here. Let's choose the light in the scene and probably put it back down to 1.5. So uh, I think this is 1280. So since we're using it for demo purposes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tone it down to somewhere smaller, like 960. Okay, times 540. Okay, go. Oops, wrong view. See, one more time. Now let's wait and see. So after looking at this, I don't feel like I like whatever is being reflected because it seems too plain, like nothing for it to be reflected. So I click Escape and I'm going to change. Okay. Go back to Material Editor. Double click on it and go for something like that and see how it looks. Okay, so we got something back right here, so it'll probably look better. So later on, I'm going to fast forward the video. Now, once we're done with this image, we are going to switch to another HDRI and let's see the difference. All right, here we go. We're done with uh, this image and it took about like seven minutes and 44 seconds. So if you compare back to the picture that we got uh, before, let's try to save this. Okay. So that's the previous one. All right, so you can see that we we have this light panel and then some of the parts doesn't have reflections. And then you can see like certain parts are not light up properly. And if you back to here, so you can see that it looks more interesting, much, much more interesting to have some buildings right here and then everything seems to light up better. Now, even though this looks over bright or we call it overexposed, uh, but I kind of prefer the results of um, or the images that we can see in from the reflections but I won't I wouldn't say that this is the best one so let's try with the other uh, or another picture of the HDRI and see how it looks let's get back to here click to load and let's try with carpentry shop open Okay, double click. So this is how it looks like. So we can rotate around and see what we got here. So it's pretty dark. So I think maybe we could just try with this. This one should look quite interesting. And then seem dark. So I think we need to brighten this up a bit. Okay. And back to perspective. Go back to here. And let's set it up to two. Let's 
get back to camera, see? Okay, and let's do another render. And one more thing, like if you take a look at here, so this is the button where it prioritizes mouse click. So if you click this, so wherever your mouse goes, then it will try to prioritize the render at that part. So this is good for, for us to check like whichever part that we want to uh, see the, the results. Okay, there's one more thing that I would like to do. Okay, back to here. Double click. So sometimes I prefer to have more contrast within the images. So I prefer to go to here, like inverse gamma. And set it down to 0 0.8. Okay. And probably... Go with something like this. All right, and let's try with the render for one more time. Whoops, too bright. So first, uh, to get a perfect image, it has to be a trial and error, and then keep testing for a few times until we've got something that looks right. Probably back to one. Okay, I'll leave it here until it, it gets completed. All right, after long waited, uh, finally we're done with a few images that tested with few different HDRIs. So this is the one that uh, before we pause the video, Okay, and then there's another one and that it seems to be kind of dark Okay, because I increased the contrast and then the last one will be This one which is a beach scene Okay, so this one took nine minutes The other one took about seven minutes and then this one took uh, 17 minutes Okay so we can use set this as an A, set that as a B that we can swipe around to check. Okay. So this one we have an interesting like illuminated colors from the red wine. Right, feel free to test out and then until you get what you like. And if you have any questions, please leave the comment below and then I'll try my best to answer. Okay, hope you learned something today and thanks for watching my video and I'll see you next time.